So in this video, you learn how to install the Samsung Messages app onto your Samsung Galaxy S25. So currently, you'll notice that when you browse through your Galaxy S25, and if you try to use the search function, you'll notice that you can't see the Samsung Messages app. So if you want to return it back to your phone, you'll need to install it either via the Google Play Store or via the Galaxy Store. So choose your preferred uh, option. So for me, I'll choose the Galaxy Store. So when you tap on it, you'll launch it, then use the search function and you want to type in Samsung Messages. Then once you've typed it in, select search and you should see it listed in the search results. So tap on it to confirm that it's by Samsung Electronics Limited. And then once you're ready, just tap on install and wait for the app to be downloaded onto your phone. If you've chosen to use the Google Play Store, then it's the same thing. Just launch Google Play Store, use the search function and type in Samsung Messages. Then again, you should see it listed in the search results. Then you'll just tap on install and then it should be installed. But ensure that you've confirmed it's by Samsung Electronics Limited and not by another company. And so once the app has been installed, you can tap on open to launch it. Then from here, you can choose to allow messages to access your phone call logs, tap on allow, access your contacts, make and manage phone calls, send and view messages, and then... You will also be prompted to select it as your default messaging app. So just tap on OK, and then use this pop up to change your messages default app like this, set as default. And now you'll be using the Samsung Messages app as your default messaging app. So that's how you can install the Samsung Messages app onto your Galaxy S25. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.